Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 24 to September 30th, 2018 And while, I, while I'm doing the shuffling, I want to remind you that this is a general reading for Cancer Star Sign This isn't your personal reading Therefore I will make um, the synergy in between the cards as well as uh, their meaning in the sprite but it falls to you guys to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you then uh, this is a matter of a personal reading and <clears throat> for personal readings you can, check, you can check the link down below to my website and there you will find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings or you can make an inquiry to my uh, email <clears throat> which is as well listed down below in the description of this video. So let me cut and um, the first position, this is going to be a four position tarot sprite. Now the first position here, it's... Uh, about the topic of Cancer's week, then the second position is about the uh, core of the situation for Cancer. Third position, it is uh, the challenges that Cancer needs to overcome here for the duration of this week. And the last card, it is um, <clears throat> the um, the guidance that Tarot has to offer for you, Cancers. So let's see. Uh, you start with the temperance. So the temperance, it's about the compromise, and the temperance, it's about, um, it's it's about the compromise, but it's in the grand scheme of things. So let me try to explain that to you. This week, as a topic, the temperance says that it is likely that you will find the annoying undertakings annoying no longer. So you will be, uh, you will have. Um, less aggravation when you have to deal and cope with certain chores uh, in your environment recognizing that these chores are waiting for you and you only and by you waiting around and doing nothing about them we're not going to make them go away or resolve on their own accord but they will kind of um, get deeper uh, <clears throat> They will become a, a bigger um, a bigger predicament for you, so they will have a, a bigger impact negative upon your um, adventures and uh, upon your aims as well. The temperance shows that this week it is likely that you will face a lot of kindness from the people around you and as well a lot of solidar solidarity and compassion. But that will happen only if you uh, honor the uh, different opinion of others. So let me give you an example to that as well. Let's say that uh, your co-worker, a co-worker of yours, excuse me, have a different opinion about your boss or about the job that uh, you are doing in general, not negative or positive. Maybe they have a, a different idea how this job needs to be executed. And th this doesn't mean that you have to be totally agree with them, but that doesn't mean as well that you have to mock on them and con them morons just because you know they have a slightly different vision this is why we talk about compromise with the temperance finding the uh, golden middle here finding the middle path um, <clears throat> so you can move through that through that week without placing yourself into any extreme um, situations and in any extreme positions the second card it is about the core of the situation now that will be the five of pentacles so what we do have right now as a synergy in between these uh, couple of cards is that you may find you may feel yourself threatened in a certain way uh, you may feel your uh, job position threatened you may feel your relationship threatened or you may feel your comfort being threatened as well this is the core of the situation and that's why probably you will have to take more milder approach here towards the person the the, the people People that you uh, interact with and as well that this is the reason why you are going to recognize that the chores are waiting for you no different than for example when a kid um, denies 
um, attending to its chores and it's when gets grounded from their parents and just before the grounding happens you know the kid recognizes that these chores will not go away and it is better to attend to them instead of postponing the inevitable here so in reality what we do have here for you cancers is that you do have the opportunity to avoid a, a certain negative impact of uh, delaying you know a, annoying undertakings to be resolved by you because as I said they are waiting for you and then the next card it is about the challenges that you need to overcome here that will be the nine of pentacles so what we do have with the nine of pentacles is the confidence of one being capable to accomplish whatever the task lies ahead so <clears throat> On top of being annoying these chores, or they had been annoying, I, but now you recognize that they, you know, they have to be attended and therefore the despondency and the annoyment is no longer in present. Now it because now the doubt that you will be able to do them on time starts to dwelling in your mind here with the Nine of Pentacles. So what this card points that you may start lacking confidence that you will be able to achieve the deadline or in general that your performance will meet the requirements, etc, etc. And that may kind of jeopardize your awareness of success success into one business and as well you know a flourishment and um, uh, and harmony into one relationship etc etc so what these cards are pointing that if you don't attend straight away to those um, you know annoying undertakings uh, it is likely that further down the road in the in, in this week uh, you will be forced to and then you have to do it almost frantically so it's kind of um, it's kind of very advisable here to have a little bit more clamorous expectations from personal performance when you um, <clears throat> when you attend to the um, to the annoying enterprise into uh, into your relationship or the uh, the stupid chores uh, chore into your career as well which does have nothing to do with the line of work that you are doing but in the same time it is your responsibility so what this week is all about it is that you have to kind of like acknowledge your responsibilities and start taking them one by one having the confidence and the self um the, the sovereignty here should i say that well to acknowledge you know that um, basically they are your work and no one uh, and none other and then uh, it's uh, the um the final card that will be the guidance here four of cups points uh, this is the card of anointment and this is the card of boredom this is uh, the card of where one is um, prone to see the negative sides or kind of like the when the one is dwelled and plummet in the uh, in the recent past rather than uh, one is capable to foresee you know uh, what the future holds so what these cards what this card points here is that there is still a, a positive aspect of those chores and those diversions should I say from the real goal that you are after in this particular week it, it may be difficult for you to recognize what the positive impact this but that doesn't mean that the positive impact is not there so what this card as a guidance tells you or tells us cancer is that you have to um, uh, uh, rely more on your mental capabilities rather than your emotional capabilities because if you dwell upon your emotions here what you're going to find yourself at as a position is you being stuck with the stuck with the previous emotions but if you try to detach yourself from the emotional state you are right now and you try to see the situation more logically and more clearly then you're going to recognize that actually out of these troubles here because the cloud signifies or symbolizes troubles um, <clears throat> out of those troubles or not really troubles but chores in your particular case I a new found fully filled cup it is offered to you and fully filled cup in the tarot cards is a symbol of emotional satisfaction so what right after you kind of like um, 
finalize your chores and your responsibilities, which you rather want to not involve yourself in, uh, you kind of deal with them, you are going to experience a, a very big emotional satisfaction for the job well done. So roll up your sleeves, guys, and start doing what you are supposed to. So uh, that was the tarot reading. Now let me shuffle and we will go to the Lenormand reading, which is going to reveal a event uh, happening that you should either try to avoid or uh, look forward to. Let me shuffle. All right. So the first card is the bird. The bird stands for social media, gossips, phone call. Then the next one, that will be the coffin. Now the coffin stands for uh, endings. Uh, and so the next one, that will be uh, the ship, which stands for uh, challenges. It stands for, um, what was the next one? Adventure, it stands for risk and it stands for uh, from afar as well, like a traveling. So uh, this could be an ending of a gossips of traveling. This could be an end, uh, a gossips ends and it is about uh, a certain risk taking. So that could be someone is gossiping in your, uh, in your career that, for example, uh, the, um, the leadership of the company you're working at is taking a big risk, etc., etc., and that will be proven utterly futile as well. So uh, you can expect at this particular uh, at this particular week that event is going to happen that that will uh, kind of take place either on a phone call or on a social media, which is going to uh, deprive your situation from the risk taking and from uh, uh, being venturous as well, but rather is going to give it a more stability as the coffin here says, says this is going to be the end of the venture the the end of the uh of the risks and the end of the gossips as well so that being said cancers this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for september 24 uh 24 yeah to september 30th 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case, again, you're interested in a private reading with me, because this is not your private reading, guys. This is a general reading for the star sign, not your personal one. And um, if you want a private reading, yeah, you can check out my website listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Don't forget that this is the end of the summer, which... Um, <clears throat> for that occasion there is a, a summer end sale that it is going in and it's this sale at 10 minutes on top of the 30 minute service making it total of 40 minutes so yeah that being said this concludes our reading see you next time Rod signing up now bye